Hey, hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. This is where every day you and I, we get together, we get into God's Word, and we grow in our love for the Lord together. In this year, 2023, Lord willing, we'll make it from Genesis through Leviticus. I'm so glad to be with you this morning. I don't know who prayed, but I found my spectacles. So, <laughs> but we only have one verse to read this morning, so let's go ahead and have some coffee. We'll pray, and we'll get into God's Word. Let's pray. Lord, you are magnificent, and you are wonderful, and we thank you for giving us this day, for giving us an opportunity to worship you. Father, please help us to walk in your ways, to trust you, to hold to your promises in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, just one verse, Exodus chapter 39, Exodus chapter 39, beginning at verse 1. Of the blue, purple, and scarlet thread, they made garments of ministry for ministering in the holy place. They made the holy garments for Aaron as the Lord had commanded Moses. Well, just one verse. That's it. I don't know why. The computer puts together the reading program. That's what we got. So, (laughs) Exodus chapter 39, verse 1. What's this about? Well, there's really two things. Bezala and Aholiab. They're making the stuff. And now we are entering into a new section of the making of the stuff. Right? We, they made all the furnishings, all the things, all the table, the lampstand, the altar incense, the burnt offering uh, altar, the basin. Uh, they made the Ark of the Covenant. They made the, the tabernacle coverings. They made the curtains around the walls. Right? They did all the stuff. But there's something that's still, mess, uh, still left. The garments for the priests. And so, they get moving on their work to clothe the priests. And they can't do it however they want to do it. Now, there's a certain amount of artistic freedom, but there's a pattern that they must follow. The pattern was given by the Lord. That's what this is getting at, right? So, uh, woven garments, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, for ministering in the holy place. And they made the holy garments for Aaron as Jehovah had commanded Moses. Right, when uh, I was in the Navy uh, many moons ago, (laughs) I keep thinking that was like yesterday. It's not like yesterday. It was over a decade ago. Anyways, a long time ago when I was in the Navy, uh, we couldn't wear whatever we wanted with a uniform prescribed. There is a uniform of the day. We are allowed to wear what the captain said we were allowed to wear why he was in charge us americans we love our freedom we love doing whatever we want but the reality is when you're in a service to someone else you wear the uniform and this is what aaron's having made for him as the lord had commanded moses it's the lord who's sovereign not moses it's jehovah who's going to have aaron arrayed with this really decorative and kind of, well, it is symbolic, right? There's all sorts of symbolism in what he's going to be wearing. But the importance here in verse 1 is it's made as God commanded Moses. Now, again, we've said this over and over and over again. Just because God commands something doesn't mean people actually do it. Right? The Lord could have commanded this and Aholiab said, you know what? Yeah, but I really want to make it this way. For some reason, he decides to do it as the Lord commanded. Because that's the work of the Holy Spirit. When he convicts us that it's the Lord who is sovereign, and that if he is our Lord, then we do as he commands. We do as he has said, because we love him. Because we want to glorify him, because we have him and his place in us our place. And I'm going to say in, in my Bible best verse, I have the in the verse one underlined, made it as the Lord had commanded Moses. But that's got to be the same for us. What is your heart motivation? Do you do whatever you want to do? Or is the Holy Spirit working in such a way that you desire, Lord, I want to do what you want me to do? One is living for ourself. The other is living for God's glory. The other is a sacrifice of ourselves for him and for his kingdom and for loving others. The other is a self selfishness that leads to hurt and 
violates the covenant. So it's not a slavish obedience. It's a Holy Spirit obedience. And that's what we see in Bezalel and in Aholiab as they make these garments as the Lord had commanded. Let's pray. Father, we pray that we would be those who, out of a heart of love moved by your Holy Spirit, that we would walk in your ways, that we would keep your promises. You are good. Lord, teach us to walk in your commandments, not for our own self-righteousness, but for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, may the Holy Spirit shepherd your soul May he complete the good work he has begun in you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon RP Church in rural Southeast Iowa. We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.